What's up guys? Welcome to the very first episode of my Crusader Kings 3 playthrough. Crusader Kings is a game series that I have always tried to get into and or at least at least part two anyway because part two was so popular for so long. So many people were playing it and I I kind of wanted to play it too and I tried and I could never get the hang of it. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't figure out how to play this stupid game. Uh, but I really wanted to play it, and I just never could figure it out. Luckily, Crusader Kings 3 has a much, much better tutorial system on it. So I actually kind of understand what I'm doing somewhat, anyway. Uh, I'm bound to make a ton of mistakes playing this, though. So... Uh, it could be an interesting watch just for that alone. Like if you're a veteran Crusader Kings player and, and you're just uh, tuning in to this video, then it, I mean, maybe you'll have some fun, you know, kind of watching this noob. Uh, so what am I going to do? Um, I've been kind of thinking about how I was going to do a video series for this game and how to play through it and everything. And I think what I'd like to do is uh, this one has the, uh, the ability to play as Vikings. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. Uh, I know they did add Vikings as DLC to Crusader Kings 2, uh, but again, I never really played much of Crusader Kings 2, so kind of don't really know a whole lot what I'm doing. We're going to go all the way back to 867, and we're going to go click down here and say play as any ruler, because I don't, I don't want to play any of these. I don't want to be the Duke of Isles. I don't want to be half Dan white shirt. I mean, why is he only a half Dan? Why can't he go full Dan? Right, anyway, play as many as is in any ruler down here. Load up. These are pretty graphics. I mean, the graphics in this game are, are quite good. So we're going to go all the way up here into um, the Viking territory up here, up north. I will be the king of the north. My, my goal is to choose one of these Viking rulers and to unite all the Viking clans so that we can then, I don't know, try to conquer most of Europe. I, I, don't, I don't know what we're going to do. So let's take a look and see what we got here. Uh, we could start with um, all these uppity people here in Upland. Uh, Jarl Jorn Arnside of Upland. You know, that's that's not a bad name. Kind of like him. Uh, he is at war. Of course he is. Uh, he is brave. He is impatient. And he is honest. I mean, that's not bad stats. He is already at war. He already owns most of the Viking territories. I, I just, I don't know if that's what I want to do or not. Uh, let, let's see what else we have. Um, how about this guy? Uh, Arizot? I can't pronounce half of these things. He is, uh, oh, he's 22. That's pretty young for a ruler. High Chieftain Vigu of this place. Uh, he's gregarious. He enjoys spending time with other people. He is diligent. He does not shy away from hard work, and he is patient to wait and bide his time. It's a specialty of Vigo. That, that's good traits. He has very, very good traits. He has no heir. Being 22, that's, uh, that's quite fun. Hmm. All right. I mean, this could be a consideration. Possibly. Might go with that one. Uh, not too keen on his age, per se, but let, let's see what else we have. What about, um, what about this little... Oh, okay. He's got a lot of territory. Let's check out this guy. Who is the hero? Oh, Jarl Sigador. Snake in the eye. Oh, I like his nickname of Sjelandund. He already has an heir. Uh, he is patient, gregarious, zealous. I mean, again, not bad stats for a ruler. Uh, he's 27. The this is good kind of already owns half the territory. I just don't know if I like the fact that it's all the way down here already. I think I, think I kind of would like to start somewhere else. Um, Moor? Oh, okay. This place is literally named Moor. Oh, I don't, I don't like this guy. I don't like him at all. He is 26. He is trusting, temperate, and zealous. Hmm. Uh, eh, I don't know. Don't like the look of this guy. Um, Chieftain Rodgar of Fififikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrikrik
Uh, Chief Ragnavar of Traded him. 37. Oh, I, did I already look at him? Just paranoid and content. Yeah. Oh, this guy's like 77 years old. I mean, you play as this guy, you're already going to pretty much start as the heir. Uh, that guy's 57. Uh, did I look at the... Uh, Sion, uh, da, da, da. Chieftain Erkler of Hartford. He's 17. I mean, looks like a girl to me. Does not have an heir. Hmm. Yeah, no, don't think so. What's this one? 27. He is uh, arbitrary, gregarious, and cynical. Eh, no. Telemark? Is, wait, is this where all the telemarketers are from? Uh, Chieftain Roard of Telemark. Okay. He is patient. Glutinous. Eh. Once at all. I mean, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Unite everything. And ambitious. Oh, he's ambitious. Okay. Wait a minute. Chieftain of Telemark. Oh. Ooh. I'm kind of liking this guy. I mean, I think we should... I think this is the one we should choose. We can bring telemarketers to all of the world. Hmm. Yeah, it's a good start. Um, yeah, let's do it. I think we should do Chieftain Roard of Telemark. All right, let's click play. We are going to play as Chieftain Telemark. All right, so the game is paused right now. And I'm not going to go into details. I'm not going to tell you guys how to play this game. Uh, if you're interested in playing it, I suggest... Um, if you want to try it out, like if you're just not sure yet whether you want to play the game or not, you can pick it up. Uh, Xbox PC Game Pass has this game for free. That's how I'm playing it. Um, as well as many other great games. Uh, so I would suggest trying it out. I'm pretty sure you can grab a one-month trial for a dollar right now and be able to play this for yourself try it out see go through the tutorial um if crusader kings 2 kind of turned you off because you couldn't figure out how to play it i suggest crusader kings 3 because the tutorial in this one is much better i figured out sort of how to play it so i'm sure you guys can probably better than me all right so our goal is to unite all of the viking clans and unite them all into one and then see where we go from there but mostly to create a dynasty so let's take a look at chieftain roard of telemark oh he has a spouse oh she is quite beautiful as well hmm her name is chiefess karen Ooh. all right let's see um i am i have a county i have a title i have a i have two kids i have Omar Rordson of Telemark. Uh, she is a bold thinker. Oh, no, it's not a she. I'm sorry. Uh, that is a he. Your son and heir. Okay. So that's my heir already. And I have a daughter. Okay. It's not bad. Looks like uh, Roard's done quite well for himself with his wife there. Oh, I can have concubines. Oh, <laughs> All right, so this seems like a good place to start, and I'm trying to think here. Let, okay, so let's see. No lifestyle is chosen. I have no lifestyle. I need to choose a lifestyle. As a Viking, I'm kind of thinking I should do martial, but then again, stewardship. Um, filling your coffers with gold is also good. Uh, what are my stats? Um, diplomacy? Ooh, it's poor. Okay. My marshal is terrible. Perhaps this was a bad choice. Uh, stewardship is four. Oh, it's terrible. It's worse than my marshal. What am I good at? I'm very educated. Okay, I'm a, I'm a very educated person. That's that's good. Okay, so let's. Uh, hmm. Focus on control of your realm, honorable conduct, and the strategies will win your wars. So by choosing these, can I? Uh, you gain 30% more experience in this lifestyle. Focus on learning all that you can. The realm of knowledge and divinity lie within your grasp, as well as the secrets to life itself. If I click on this, what do we have? Uh, an understanding of life beyond the vagaries. Learning, plus one. Focusing on medicine grants. Uh, okay, so I can do medicine. Scholarship focus. Uh, mm, okay. I, I don't think we're going to do very well if we don't start taking over some 
other areas. So I'm kind of thinking, what do we get for Marshall? I get plus three on Marshall by focusing on strategy. And I think that's what we should do. I'm going to select strategy. I'm not even going to look at anything else. I'm just going to go with this. Whatever happens, happens. It is what it is. All right, so we're going to go on strategy. Uh, luck can win a duel. A fool can win a battle. I'm, I'm no fool. I'm very well educated. But it takes more to win a war. So I figure with education and focusing on strategy, maybe I can put that education towards, you know, strategy on how to win battles and stuff, perhaps. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's exit out of this. Uh, issues. We have some issues. I can declare wars. I am not endorsed by Goaty. Uh, your Goaty, Gaudi Han of Turmark, does not endorse you. You should ensure that he has a positive opinion of you. Otherwise, he will not provide you with any levies. Well, we can't, if we don't get him to like us, we can't get levies. Levies are our warriors. So, um, I can take a concubine. You are currently under the seemly number of concubines for someone of your rank. Take more concubines. Negate the prestige penalty you're currently suffering. Okay, so let's get a concubine. Fine, concubine. Okay, Astrid. Astrid sounds cool. Uh, she's unmarried. Uh, let's see. Infrigid. She's a little older, perhaps more experienced. Uh, let's see. Bode Ravener. Oh, you know what? I'm I'm liking Astrid. It's a cool name. I want her. I am taking Astrid as my concubine. Hopefully my, my wife won't mind. Okay. That's taken care of. Uh, you can designate a guardian for Armar. Okay, let's designate a guardian. Who shall be his guardian? Well, I want to be his guardian. I want to teach him. Uh, you took Astrid as my woman. She is my woman. Uh, fine, Viking bride. Or concubine, actually. Um, so he will gain 15 opinion of me if I'm... I mean, I'm father and also his words. Uh, okay, I, I go to propose to my son that I be his educator to teach him the ways. I'm a fine educator. This should work out well. I can declare wars. Neighboring chiefdom of Esfod is both rich and prosperous, but you cannot conquer it without a Cassius belly. Cassius belly. Uh, Cassius belly is a cause of war, basically. Uh, yeah. Cause for war is required to declare war on another ruler. So before you can declare war against another place and take it over, you have to have a Cassius belly. Cassius belly. I don't, I don't really know how to pronounce it. I listened to Google pronounce it like many times. Can't figure it out. All right. Uh, okay. We are not endorsed by God. Okay. So this is Galil Han of Telemark. Is your Gadi? Okay. I guess he, he owns the land. No, he's unlanded. Then why can't... I need his support, huh? He's a champion. Okay. All right, well, I need to make him like me. So right click on and um, do I have money? I don't have a lot of money. I can pay 12. I can give all my money to him and he will like me. He will gain 11. That's not going to be enough. I need to start a scheme. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm... To sway him. There's a 62% chance of swaying him. We increase by 25%. I'm going to try to sway him. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah. Get that off the screen, please. Go away. Alright. What else do we have? I can declare wars. Uh, okay. So I can do that. I just, I don't think I should get until I get goaty. Goaty Locks to like me. Goaty Locks has to like me before I can really do anything. Let's take a look at her land. Where is this Goaty guy again? Um, where are you? You're here as well, huh? I'm landed at your court. Oh, he's in my court. Oh, you know what? Let's take a look at my court. I almost forgot about that. 
Uh, my council. All right, so he is my champion. He does not like me very well. My steward, my marshal. My marshal is bad at at war. I, I hmm. Do I have anybody else who's better at marshal? Yes, John. John is better at that, but... And Ingmar. Ingmar is my guest. Both of you guys are quite good at one. Okay. John is good at... You're good at two things here, John. You're good at... Hmm. I still don't know what a Godai is. Oh, wait! He's like my bishop. Oh, I see. All right. So I'm gonna swap these two guys around. All right, so can I put somebody else in charge of being smart up here? So that way they might like me better? Uh, Homegar, he's my counselor. I'm gonna swap them. There we go. That's not bad. All right, but my steward is really bad at that money. All right, so I need to appoint a steward, someone who's good with money. Uh, Imgar. Imgar is good with money, so is Hrain, and Himnig. Himnig is not so good with money. I, I'm thinking I'm going to recruit him. He will gain 50 favor with me. But the other guy is probably not so happy with me. All right. I think I have a pretty good court now. Did I not just appoint? Oh, there we go. Uh, Ulfgag, Ulfleg will lose 20 opinion of me. And he's already at negative 14, so whatever. Um, do we have any other people who are good at spying? John, he's already my marshal. Harain. Gunhirda. I'm... We don't have a very... That's our best spy master. Okay, so we have... My wife is chiefess. She is assisting the ruler. Galdi. Chancellor. Okay. 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 All right. These are all good stats for what we can start with, I suppose. We don't exactly have the best country or territory. Uh, and let's see. Let's take a look at our realm. Okay. We have our military. Our military is not quite great. That's my council. This is my court. Oh, I need to search for his position. Uh, oh, you know what? We don't have a whole lot of money. We're going to hold off on that. Um, intrigue. I already have one of those going. My factions and decisions. Uh, I can go on a pilgrimage. Or I can search for a physician. I can invite champions. Uh, restore the Dane Law. You not fulfill all the requirements. I can't do any of those. All right. So, I have recruited a guest to my court. Fantastic. Alright. Let's see what we have here. Oh, you know what? Hold on. He doesn't care for me very much. Um, we already have a intrigue going on here with this one. I'm going to cancel that. And we're going to try to sway Imgar over. Oh, we have a very good chance of uh, swaying him over. All right, that's pretty good. So we're going to do that instead. All right. Not that. This needs to go away. Go away. There we go. Uh, fabricate claim. I can declare wars. Um, to earn fame and expand my... Okay, so click to view... Which kingdom am I going after here? Oh, it's this little 17 year old guy, a Vestfode, whose heir, his heir is 37. Wait, what? He's 17. How is his heir older than he is? Oh, it's not even his son. It's like his spy master will inherit. Okay. What kind of, um... Alright, let's take a look at Vestfold. 
What kind of warriors do you have? Oh, they have many more levies than me. That's not a good idea, I don't think. How about you guys? You have two castles. Chieftain Maidens. Okay. I think... Let's just sit on this for a while. Let's unpause the game. I have a new gold eye who does not endorse me. But we are scheming to see if he can endorse me. So let's see what happens here. Alright. So, a few months have passed. We finally got something happening here. We have lessons from the past. Now, I will surely see many battlefields before I meet my maker. My library holds tales of war from a hundred lifetimes. I have recently acquired a tome on the great battle of the Catalonian Plains, as well as a time-worn scroll written in some ancient language. Who knows what forgotten secrets it holds. Oh, mmm. Okay, so I can only do one. Uh... Marine challenge. I uncover a piece of ancient... Oh! Ooh. Nice. Uh... Let's see. If you fail to decipher the scroll... You know what? I'm gonna try to decipher the scroll. The scroll looks like it's got some better benefits. I mean... Um... Studying an old battle for 10 years. I'm going to go with attempt to translate the scroll. Let's see what happens with that. While we're here, oh, we have more. Even with the help of a dusty glossary, the scroll is reluctant to share its secrets, but I press on. As the night progresses, the most incredible story unfolds before me. The scroll describes the Battle of Gaxia. The Han commander Han Sin lured his Chu opponent, Xiang Yu, into a canyon by kidnapping his beloved wife. There, the Han troops disrupted the Chu formations. With repeated ambushes and encirclements to further break their spirits, the Han soldiers scornfully sung Chu songs. Xiang Yu escaped with a small force of loyal men, but in the end, they were chased down and defeated. Oh. Hmm. So, I can... Gain an or I can keep... Hmm. I'm going to focus on the translation process. I'm pretty good with learning things, so I think we're going to do that. Let me pause the game real quick and see what else we have going on here. So, let's take a look at my council. So, my my Godai, Hamgar here, is supposed to start liking me better. And I swear I think he likes me worse now. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was, was higher before, but hmm, it's not so much now. What can we do? What can we do? Can we perhaps... If I find a spouse for him, where he like me better? Probably not. Um, can I educate his child, and perhaps that will... Uh, if I do this, will he gain... Oh, he will gain 15 opinion of me. Plus 5 a month. You know what? I'm going to send this proposal to him. Okay, that actually, I think, is going to help a little bit. Let's unpause and see what happens. Do you like me more now, Hamgar? Yes? No? Perhaps? No. Uh, it went up to 32. So, what is, what is going on over here in Vestfold? What are you doing with your troops here, Vestfold? Hmm, that's not looking good. He's sending troops down here. Uh oh, what's this? Bishop endorsement. Your bishop is not endorsing you. Your character's faith makes it so that you have a realm priest on your council. These bishops hold immense power and are then willing to share it with you should you stay on their good side. Your bishop provides you with taxes and levies from all temple holdings in your realm and how much they give you as an impotent. Being disliked means that you will not get anything and the bishop may even make life hard for you. They can, for example, force you to divorce your spouse. You should do your best to improve their opinion of you. Using a send gift or starting a sway scheme are two good examples. If anything else fails, arranging an unfortunate accident is also. I understand. I know my bishop doesn't like me. This is something I, I understand. Uh, I have a suggestion here to declare war on Chieftain Hirskin. 
Where where is your skin? Oh, he's all the way over here. Why would I want to declare war on somebody that's all the way over there? I would have to go through these first. I'm not gonna do that. I I would prefer to keep all my holdings in one area, if at all possible. We'll unite one at a time. He has no allies though. Mm -hmm. What kind of Get out of here. Uh, compared to mine, of only 330. I'm going to lose that war. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm not going to send troops through two different territories just to get, well, yeah, two. Two different territories just to get over here to this guy to fight. That's, no, we're not going to do that. If anything, we're going to go after Nadine's here, who actually has less levies than me now. Oh. Oh, can I declare war against you? Hmm. Um. Uh, do I want to conquer the county? Raid for captives against Nadine's. Oh, I can raid him. Or sacrifice by you. If you enforce your demands. Oh, their military strength is vastly superior to mine. Wait, what? Oh, he has 16 now. 600 now. But he just, he had less a second ago. Oh, it was this guy, Agnes, that has less. Oh. Okay, well, we don't want to do that then. I really need to get more levies. I need my bishop to like me. Like, seriously. He, hmm. Council. He's at 22. I can't send a gift now because I need 31 go to do that. I can. I can't grant you titles. I I can appoint him as the court physician. Oh, he gains 15 favor of me as well. Oh, nice. There you go. Now he's at negative seven. We got this. All right. You gained attentive care for five years. This happened despite your spouse's poor martial skills. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else happens here. A new claimant has arrived. Of all the buffoonery I've ever seen, Harangue's in rain efforts to improve my relations with my neighbors. My good-for-nothing chancellor has officially acknowledged Chieftain Code's claim to Chieftain of Tailmark. What? What? I put you in that row. Okay. You're supposed to make friends, not enemies. Hold on, pause this. Uh, council. Chancellor Hurain, huh? Doesn't like me. He's a zealot. We need a new chancellor. Oh, but Ingemar is also... He's good with my money, though, and he's making me money, I think. Hmm. All right. Who else is good with this? Uh. He's my steward. But nobody else is even close to the money that he has. I don't know, Marshall. I mean, is there anybody even remotely good here for this? Hmm. No, there's not. All right. How can I fix this? Um, champions. At least three able-bodied men with 12 or more prowess will arrive as guests at court at the corner of us. Send... Oh. Uh, yes, send the herald. It's just going to cost me a little bit of prestige, that's all, but I think it's going to be worthwhile. Let's see what happens with that. I have got a champion. Let's take a look at this guy. How are, what are your stats? Oh, you are not good at anything. <laughs> okay, well, let's see who else comes up. Oh, I was able to sway Humgar. He now likes me. Cool. Uh, he is now plus 19. Oh, nice, 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 nice. 
Uh, okay. Started. He, oh, I am now being endorsed. I have church holdings or temples. And fantastic. Does that help uh, get me levies and stuff though? No. All right. Can we construct a new building? And how much would that cost? Uh, no, we can't do anything. We have no money for any of this right now at the moment. Uh, Palisades are 75, 75, 75. Everything's going to cost me 75 to build, so we don't have any of that. We do have Defender of the Faith. There were a commotion among the children today. Gerder was attempting to preach among her fellow youngsters and became the target of a small fight. Umhar was furious that anyone could target someone attempting to speak on behalf of Freya and chased away the other children. Wait a minute. So my daughter was... Okay, I mean, I guess that's what I get for having a preacher take... Uh, educate my child. But, uh... This tension of preaching among her fellow youngsters became the target of a small fight. Elmar was furious that anyone could target someone attempting to speak on behalf of Freya. And chased away the other children. You were served the divine well, child. Um, do not be afraid. Charge in when you have to. I will gain stress... Oh, also getting stress here. Loses the trait zealous and brave. Gains the trait brave. Do not be afraid charging when you have to. Uh, I will gain stress, but... Hmm. He will lose the trait zealous and become brave. I I think I'm not going to do anything. I think I'm just going to go. You were served a divine well shot. Let's just go with that. All right, nice. Are we? We're not getting any more levies. I don't think. No, we're not. My supply limit's good. We do have two holdings. Where do we have two holdings at? Can I build something here? Construct a new holding. Uh, I don't have anything I can construct. The champion is right. Nils! Let me pause this real quick to take a look at Nils. Oh, look at Nils's. Ooh. Let's take a look at our council again. Let's take a look at John. John's not very smart when it comes to these things. He'll lose his opinion of me, but... Neil, on the other hand, Neil has a. a mm, I okay. I'm gonna leave him be. Gonna leave him be. And we'll keep playing and see what else happens. So we're already uh, at the almost at the end of year two here so far, and we haven't really gotten far in our dynasty yet, or. Very far in uniting any of the, the other Viking clans. A new champion has arrived almost at the beginning of the next year here. Gunnar. Um, he's not great. Okay, so let's take a look. You have 270 levies. If I declare war against you, and I do want to declare war against you, supply limit levies up to him. Didn't he have more men earlier? Compared to mine? I'm going to try to. Let's see. If I do this, his man is. I'm going to lose that. I'm going to lose that. Ah, okay. Well, let's take a look at uh, this one over here then. If I declare war against him, can I raid for captives? No, he is also superior to me. I I need more levies. How do I get more levies? I think I need more gold. I'm not apparently. I'm not so great at this. Um, nothing is really happening, and it's it's kind of saddened to me. Our military strength. I need our military strength to go up. Oh, wait. Create a men in arms regiment. Light footman. Ooh. Bowman. 
Light Horseman. What would that give me? Veteran skirmishers are invaluable harriers. I'm going to create these. Prestige represents a character. Okay, it's going to cost me some fame. Some prestige. But, all in all, I think this is the way to go. It's going to give me a hundred more people. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I still only have 335 soldiers, but they are... Oh, there's only five of a hundred. Okay, that's fine. It's going to cost me a little bit of prestige to rain these. Uh, disband all, raise all armies. Mercenaries? I can hire mercenaries for cash. I don't have cash. Can't do that. Um, it still says I need to try to conquer this guy over here. I mean, if I declare war against him, what then? Invade his kingdom. May only attempt one invasion war against a kingdom tier per lifetime. If you enforce your demands, you seize all titles within this realm, belonging to Dejour to target title. Eh, you may only attempt one invasion per lifetime. I can only do one invasion. What about conquering? I gain the contested title, but what are what are the bad things about it? My level of fame is less than illustrious, so I, maybe I can't do that. Conquer the county? Uh, they're military. Mm. Again, they're all the way over there, and I really don't want to do that. I want to take over Nadine's first, but maybe, perhaps, the strategy might be to surround them. Maybe that might be the best way. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to conquer their county. One, two, three, four. I declare Viking War. I've declared war. All right. Rally my troops. Oh, an ally has joined me. <laughs> oh, nice. But won't he contest me? All right, only six months and we'll have it. All right, got only a couple days left here. I now control this area. I have taken prisoners. My siege was won. All right, the telemarking conquest of the chieftain. Uh, I shall enforce my demands. I gained a contested title. I have gained 75 fame. My allies share 75 fame as well, based on their contribution. Chieftain Harchidon and his allies share contribution. Okay, enforce demands. Look at that, I got goat now. To the loathsome chieftain Rollard. May your ears be short and miserable. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply. So be it. What's this? Advice. County control. One of your counties has low control. This means... Hold on. Why are you not paused? Uh, one of your counties says, This means you'll get reduced taxes and levies from it. However, there are ways to increase control. There are many places you can see control in the domain tab. In the realm view, in the issues view, in the county view. To increase control, you want to go to your council view. Assign your marshal to the increased control and county task. Control also increases with time. This process is very slow. We recommend that you use a highly skilled marshal instead. If you leave a county with low control for a long time, it may gain county corruption. To avoid this, we recommend that you not conquer too much land in one go. Got it. Uh, to increase control. Okay. Well, we want to do that. So, wait. Okay. So, eh. Okay, I don't want to do any of that. Wait. It told me to do the thing, and I can't do the thing. Train commanders. Oh, here we go. Increase control in county. Okay, so these are all counties. So we're going to increase the control over here. There we go. Alright, so now we control Telemark and over here. Alright. And I still want control of this place, but who is in charge over here? Is it me? This is my tribe's holding. So what happened to the guy that I, I took? <clears throat> oh, I caught his wife. Nice. 
Okay, well, we're taking care of that, so I, I can take another concubine. Hmm. I don't like any of these concubines. From Heater Death. She's a vindictive atheist. She's not very good, then, is she? Oh, I can take the guy's wife as my concubine. Oh, yes. All right. We're, we're totally going to do that. Uh, all right. And yeah, I think that's probably going to be it for this episode of Crusader Kings 3. And then maybe we'll find out what will happen next. Um, let's see. My entry. I'm still swaying. All right. I'm, I'm pretty good with that. Disband all my armies. Okay. Nice. Um, what kind of armies do we have now? What are my total force? 437? What about over here? 192? Do I not control this? It says I do, but I don't. Okay, whatever. Uh, all right. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode of Crusader Kings 3. Thanks for watching, guys. I can't wait to get more involved into this and see if we can unite all of the Vikings. In the meantime, wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.